it seems anyway that it, you know whatever system we have in place, someone takes more and it's not even just through force you know we're different people you can't force someone not to work hard now once again let me go back to the island analogy if we're on the island and it happens to be that josh loves getting up extra early and working extra late and so he's bringing in more crops and he's selling more crops or doing whatever and he's starting to make more money and i can kind of sit back and smoke that bush instead of cultivating it guy and i start getting out of pocket and josh josh's wealth increases because I'm lazy, I, I won't bother to cut vines. I'll ask Josh to deliver some to me and I'll start paying him and so on. Just the economy, it can get wonky quite quickly. So I say, even if we don't hold it against people who took stuff from others, what we say is the economy messes itself up at some point if we live in a capitalist system like this, which is driven by a profit and it needs resetting at some point. And we need a reset right now. We need a reset. Let me say that seriously. We need a reset. Yeah, the game is rigged, Josh, um, no doubt. But once again, is it just rigged from the offset that someone went out and said, right, let's build this system and rig it? Or as I was trying to explain earlier, is it that the system takes a particular form and then someone capitalises on that? Now, I'm not talking about the royal family and their history of succession and the fact that, you know, it was just some tough guy and his gang of men who went around and said, oh, I'll be king, <laughs> you know, I'm the bad man now, and took control of the land and the people and said he's king and then um, people kind of voted a king in, the toughest guy in the era who offered to protect them. Uh, I mean, in fact, I've done a show on it. Um, if you look on YouTube um, way back... Um, I don't know show exactly how that system works. Yeah, so um, so is that a yes? Do you mean like okay, the, the it's that it, the system gets bent out of shape, and then someone capitalises on that. So these people don't have much money. These people do. What are the people without the money? They're going to write at any point now. In fact, they're going to try and take back some of that wealth, like hungry people do, because the people who have the money also took the land and means of production and so on. So these people come and stand in between and say, look, I tell you what, this is what I talk about on the show. Um, so they say. We'll protect. This is we'll protect the um, w the elite, the people who have all the money, and we'll also pretend to protect the lower class people. And then they stand there uh, as a line in between, and then they create a police force. This is government, by the way. And then they create a police force and everything else, and they say just keep these filthy, unwashed people away from the rich. And then they do favours for the rich and so on. And the rich live outside of the law. I'm talking about the filthy rich, not just people who made a few million pounds. They're still scum of the earth like us, but um, they're ruling elite. They control and pay their wages and bribes and so on. The divine right claim, that's what it's all about indeed. Um, you know, like um, the divine right of kings and what they claim is that God <laughs> said to Queen Elizabeth or any other ruler that they are the divine being and that everyone else is their subject. And that doesn't sit well with me. I mean, if you say that you God spoke to you typically, then you'd be certified as um, mad and, you know, you would go to prison for that. But um, it's okay for the uh, royals to claim that they heard the voice of God.